Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. I recently bought a new PlayStation 4 from a seller on eBay and this was to use as a project machine for my channel. Now it all arrived in great shape but the owner hadn't fully cleaned out the system. So in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset your PlayStation 4 to completely wipe all traces of the previous owner. Now I'll be going through two methods of doing this. Uh, one will work if you've got full access to the system and the other then will allow you to get around any password protection and then just clean the system fully so you can start again. So let's reset this console. Now if you've got access to the console then we simply need to go through the initialization process and you'll find this at the bottom of the settings menu. Now when you select the initialize PS4 option you're going to get two choices. Now, now one thing to remember before you go ahead with this do remember that this process will delete all of your game save and program data. If you need to back anything up now is the time to do it. Once this reset process starts, you're going to lose all of that data on your hard drive. Now, so the two versions then, um, we have a quick version. So this will simply clean your hard disk directory and reset it from there. Now, now from your point of view or from a user point of view, it will be totally wiped. But if you were to actually take the hard drive out of the console and hook it up to a PC, you would be able to use some specialist software to recover some of the files. Now, now for most of this is really not going to be an issue um, and, and as you start to use the PlayStation you will gradually overwrite all of your old data with new games and saves and other files. So if, but, but if you do want the console to completely clean your data, data from the drive rather than just marking it as deleted you can select this full version. Now this will do a full data clean of the hard drive surface so that no one would be able to rebuild your files. Now if you are looking to sell your console I would opt for this full clean uh, just to be totally sure. It is going to take a couple of hours to complete but you can just leave it running and then you can be certain that nothing that you've put on the console can be recovered. Now if, if like me you just want to get someone else's data off your machine so that you can use it for yourself then actually the quick reset is probably the best option because it is um, a lot quicker. So once either of these resets is complete you'll be back to a fresh out of the box PlayStation 4 and you'll need to go through the initial setup process as normal. So that's the easy way and um, with you being able to get into the system but what if someone has locked the console and you haven't got the password? Well, well don't worry, we, we can still reset the machine to factory defaults, but this time obviously we're not going to be able to get in there and save any of the data before we reset. So for this option we're, we're going to use the console safe mode. Now this is a special startup mode where we can perform a number of low level actions on the PlayStation 4 without actually loading up the main operating system. Now for this you will need an official PlayStation 4 controller and you're also going to need to connect it to the console using a USB cable. Um, so no other combination will actually work in safe mode. So connect up your controller and make sure the PlayStation is fully powered off. So to get into safe mode we first press the power button but we're now going to keep it pressed in. So, so you'll hear the console beep as normal and the power lights will come on but do keep that button pressed in until you hear a second beep. So you can now let go of the power button and the console should now start up into safe mode. Now it will probably ask you to connect your controller using USB and to press the PS button but once you've done this you should end up then in the safe mode menu. Now as you can see there are a number of options to reset various parts of the console uh, but for us we're going to want one of these last two initialize options. Now, the very bottom option allows you to reset the console and either reload or update the operating system. Now if you feel there are any issues with the way the machine is working, if it's crashing or something like that, um, this can be a good way to clear any potential software problems but you will need to download a firmware file and save it onto a USB drive that you can then plug into the PlayStation. Now, now if you head over to the PlayStation support website, and again I'll put this link down in the description below, uh, you'll get full details 
on how to create that USB drive and how to then put the folder in the correct place. But, but in essence, um, you're, you're going to need, need to get hold of a PS4 update.pup file. Um, that, that contains the actual firmware for the console. And you then simply need to save it onto a specific folder format in the USB drive. So it wants to be in an update folder. And again, all capital letters for this. And that then needs to be inside a PS4 folder that's then on the root of the drive. Now, if you are thinking about soft modding your PlayStation, then please do not download the latest firmware from Sony. This will likely block any software mods that you can currently install. Um, Sony is obviously always trying to block any software mod mods that get released. So um, if you really do need to reinstall your current firmware, then please go to this repository. Uh, and from there, you can basically download any firmware that matches your current one. Now, now note that you can't install lower firmware versions, so you can only reload your current version or, or go to a higher version. So if your console is already above the current soft modding version, then I'm afraid you're still just going to have to wait for the new versions to be released. So, so the other initialize option, um, without the resetting your firmware, um, that, that will just do as we did before, which is um, to clean your hard drive and just leave the firmware alone. Now, whichever of these two options you choose, you'll then need to follow through the screen prompts to complete the reset process. If you've opted to update the firmware, you'll also be prompted to insert a USB drive. And again, you'll be given instructions on how to go through that whole process. But again, at the end of this process, you'll have a fully reset PlayStation, but this time with all the passwords and locks removed, and you'll then be able to set the console up as your very own. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, please do make sure you go through this process, especially if you're selling machine. And I would always advise doing this if you've bought a secondhand console that hasn't been fully reset. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to look out for more gaming, modding, electronics and making projects. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. And bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.